Hello and welcome. This is Jit Dolakya and you are watching its tomorrow news. Typhoon fan phone hits Philippines on Christmas Day. Typhoon fan phone pummeled the central Philippines on Christmas Day, bringing a wet and miserable holiday season to millions in the mainly Catholic nation and forcing thousands to seek shelters at government facilities. Thousands were also stranded at shattered port or evacuation centers at the height of the festive season on Wednesday and residents covered in a rain-soaked homes as fan phone moved from one small island to the other for the second day. The country's weather agency Pegasa said as of midday on Wednesday, fan phone also known locally as Urusula had maximum winds of 140 km per hour and gustiness of up to 190 km per hour. The typhoon toppled houses and trees and blocked out cities in the Philippines' most storm-prone region, but no deaths were reported. Though weaker fan phone was tracking a similar path as super typhoon Haiyan, the country's deadliest cyclone on record, which left more than 7,300 people dead or missing in 2013. Families were ordered to leave their homes and travelers were stranded on Christmas Eve as typhoon fan phone recorded a shore in the eastern Philippines. The government's weather service said as of 11 p.m., the typhoon was bringing very destructive winds and intense rainfall over southwestern portion of Samar, northern portion of the Leet and Berlin. About 24,000 passengers, many of whom were trying to get homes for Christmas, were stranded in ports when ferry services were shut down. More than 320 families in northern Cebu sought safety in evacuation centers on Christmas Eve, the Cebu Daily News reported. The storm's high winds damaged the local disaster management center. Trees blocked the major highway between Maya and Bege on Cebu. Power was knocked out to many areas of Cebu. The Coast Guard had to rescue 20 people from a boat, then ran aground of Hicktop Island after its engine failed. Dinagat Island was battered by high winds and heavy rain from the storm. More than 10,000 people spent the night in schools, gym, and government buildings hastily converted into evacuation centers as the typhoon made landfall on Tuesday, civil defense officials said. Flights to the region also remained cancelled, though the populous capital Manila on the northern edge has so far been separated. The Philippines is the first major landmass facing the Pacific Cyclone Belt. The archipelago gets hit by an average of 20 storms and typhoons each year, killing many people and wiping out harvest, homes and other infrastructure and keeping millions penitentially poor. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Jit Dolakya. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe to our channel.